Hi there, well this uh, little engine is nearly coming to completion and the uh, only main outstanding item is the ignition system and uh, I was hoping uh, to use uh, Simon's, Simon Burt's ignition module they sent me. Uh, but having looked at the drawing, the drawing suggests making a points based system. Now I've never met points before so uh, I think it should be an, an interesting little exercise. So unfortunately uh, Simon's ignition module is going to have to wait for another day. So this is an extremely rough drawing of the uh, points component. So the body is made up uh, out, out of a piece of aluminium. And uh, up here you've got a hacksaw blade that acts as one, one part of the points. And here you've got a bolt which acts as the other part of the points. So. Uh, once they join obviously the uh, circuit is made so um, what I'm going to do first of all is to have a go at making the body now I've already uh, machined or I've drilled a hole in this piece of aluminium and uh, marked it up so what I need to do is to on the mill remove this area here this area here, and that area, and this, and then, and that, and then cut through there. So that's the plan. Well it's all going to plan, um, a lot of people tell me to take deeper cuts and I'm gradually getting there, these are 25 thou cuts. Now I'm just nibbling away at these edges just to uh, put a little bit of a curve on. Well, I have been looking at the um, radius function on my DRO because I thought I'd be able to actually cut a nice radius round here without putting it on the rotary table. Uh, but to be honest, the instructions are just gobbledygook. Um, very bad translation from uh, Chinese, I think. Um, so I think I'm going to just do it roughly and then I'll put it on the rotary table and uh, get, a, get a nice finish if I can. Okay, so to machine the radius, I've decided to do it on the rotary table and uh, I've got this MT2 uh, sort of plank that I've used before and uh, I've just machined that so that can go in there. I'm going to lock tight that in place then that will slot onto there and then I can bolt it in place like that and then I can just put that on the rotary table and uh, hopefully just turn that radius.
Well, it seems to be going okay, so I'll uh, get back to you once I've completed uh, the rest of it. Well, that sort of turned out okay, um, but I've messed up a little bit. I've run out of sequence here. Um, I need to mill out a section here, and I'd have been better off um, not turning these curves until later on, because if I'd have left um, the metal on here, I could hold it in the vice a lot easier. But hey oh, you live and learn. Well, I've managed to offer some support here with some um, old slip gauges. They're coming really useful from time to time. Well, the blade just didn't quite wide enough. Well, that seems to have worked out okay. And uh, I completed the cut with a hacksaw. And uh, I also uh, just drilled and tapped some holes in the proper, proper places. And that's an old hacksaw blade that I uh, put into shape using the uh, bench grinder. Now, before I um, look at making the bolt for the points here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the ignition cam and then put both the components on the little engine and that'll give me an idea as to uh, how much clearance I need here. Well the ignition cam is a simple affair really and I machined it off camera. Um, it's got a flat on there and it's got a grub screw in there. So we'll uh, put it onto the little engine and uh, have a closer look. That looks pretty good. Obviously the close position and when it opens that's the point where the ignition will fire. I need to make something that will fit that's adjustable and that will fit within those parameters. Well I think Earl's going to make an ignition breaker point um, using some uh, tungsten for TIG welding. Um, but I think I'm just going to go sort of roughly by the drawing and that is to use a uh, 4x4 to UNC nut and bolt and what I need to do is to make some plastic sort of like washers because obviously this, this needs to be insulated from the body um, so these are the rough measurements so what I'll do is um, I'll use Fusion 360 and uh, design a couple of components so I can then 3D print them off So that's the sort of idea, and it's that section there that'll uh, fit through the hole in the aluminium. Well I don't know how long something like this is going to last, 
I suppose time will tell. Well, that was an interesting little exercise, making points. Um, but I don't know how good they're going to be in real life. And uh, you never know, I might have to uh, convert it to electronic ignition at some point in time. But we'll have to see how we get on with them. And uh, in my next video, hopefully, I'll do a test build and a test run. So that should be exciting. Uh, but anyway, I uh, hope you found the video of interest and uh, I hope to see you later.